What's up guys, Handish here, and today we're jumping in to take a look at the Unbent Tree, which is the new Iron Banner auto rifle in Rise of Iron. So this is what the vendor's selling for the first week of Iron Banner in Rise of Iron. I'll talk briefly about the vendor role, and I'll make some recommendations for roles to look out for on this weapon. Firstly, let's take a look at the role that I picked up. So we have the new Iron Banner weapon sights here. We've got the Iron Red Dot, an agile sight for smooth engagements in close quarters. We have the Iron Warrior sights, a stable sight optimized for excellent recoil control, and Finally, the iron ranged scope, long range scope with enhanced target acquisition. In the first perk column, there's the option of small bore for increased range and stability at the expense of reload and mag size, or reinforced barrel for more range and reduced stability. Up next is lightweight for two times character agility, or casket mag for increased mag size at the expense of stability. And finally, we have persistence where the weapon grows more accurate the longer it's fired, or focus fire when zoomed, the weapon fires slower but causes additional damage. Visually the weapons are really fresh and unique to this set which is nice, we have the wooden barrel and the fur with the chainmail on top of this kind of very petite weapon model which looks a lot like some sort of submachine gun. They did a great job visually with these weapons. But if we jump back to the stats, the unbent tree is the maxed 100 rate of fire versus 2 impact auto rifle, exactly the same archetype as the doctrine of passing. The unbent tree beats out the doctrine's max range of 27 with a 48 range stat which is fairly good for this archetype. The base stability of unbent tree is lower than Doctrine by just a few points, but it does have slightly more aim assist, which isn't a bad thing. Otherwise, they're both similar weapons in terms of stats. All around, the Unbent Tree is a very solid AR. You'll have a pretty similar experience with this weapon as you've had with other Max Straight of Fire auto rifles. They still perform pretty well in the Crucible, probably the best archetype of AR, but it does need a pretty good role to be serviceable, in my opinion. Because of the high rate of fire and low stability, as you can see with my role, the recoil is pretty intense. Mine simply doesn't have enough stability to counter the severe recoil direction. So much in the same way as the Doctrine, you have to have that optimal role of the weapon, this is certainly the case here. The vendor roll of the weapon is okay. If you don't get one dropped with better stability, then the perfect balance vendor roll will be usable. But let's talk about the best rolls you could possibly get here. So in the first perk column, the best options you would have would be braced frame initially or perfect balance. You could go with handlaid stock or injection mold if you had them rolled in the first slot, but you will lose range with these bonuses. In the middle column, snapshot, lightweight, quick draw or appended magazine would be pretty good. And in the final column, really counterbalance is the best thing for the recoil improvements that you'll want on this weapon. Of course, Brace Frame and Counterbalance is the combo which made Doctrine famous, and you'll certainly need those bonuses to get near to a Doctrine level of performance. There's also Rangefinder, Persistence, and Glass Half Full, which you could roll in the last slot, although, like I said, Counterbalance is really where it's at if you want solid performance. Overall, it's a very good auto rifle. If you essentially get a God Roll dropped, you know, it could be a beast in the Crucible. This could prove difficult, though. Nonetheless, we do have many Iron Banners to get grinding for god rolls on these weapons. Like I said, it has the potential to be an absolute beast. So there you go guys, just a brief look at the unbent tree from the Iron Banner. Let me know what you guys think of the weapon down below if you've used it or have any cool rolls of it dropped. If you have enjoyed the video, a like is always appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe for a lot more Destiny Rise of Iron content. For now though, you guys have an awesome day.